Does really a low KV motor have more torque than a higher KV one? In this video I'll prove you that it is not true, but in the next video I'll show you that there's something that makes it true. To prove this we start from the motor constant, which is defined by the torque divided by the current used to produce that torque. But it is also 60 divided by 2 times P kV. 60 and 2 times p are just a matter of units of measure. Multiplying by the current we can find an equation for the torque. As it's logical, the torque is proportional to the current and inversely proportional to the kV. For simplicity we'll keep everything else constant. So now suppose our hypothetical 4000 kV motor has just two coils. From the previous video you should know that the kV is inversely proportional to the number of coils. That is, to reduce the kV four times, we need to fit four times more coils. So let's fit in there eight coils instead of two. That brings us to 1000 kV and let's see what happens to the torque. You might think that as the kV went down four times, now we have four times the torque. But hey, we did not consider the current. Current is the voltage divided by the resistance. The voltage is fixed by the battery we are using, while the resistance is inversely proportional to the cross section of the wire. Smaller wire has more resistance and will reduce the current. So to fit 8 coils instead of 2, we have reduced the cross sectional area by 4 times, increased the resistance by 4 times and reduced the current by 4 times. Do you see where it's going? No matter what we do, we change the KV and the current by the same amount. And the torque remains the same. In fact, it is possible to prove that the torque is proportional to the volume of the coils. The number of them doesn't matter. But everybody knows that a lower KV has more torque. So there must be something else. See you in the next video. If you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel to help me make more videos like this. Thanks for watching.